Okay, so let's get started on number two of the um, lesson six point, no, 2.4. Okay, now let's strategize. Let's look at my x variable. Hmm, should I try getting rid of that? No, let's move on. That may look easy. Definitely y. Hmm. Oh, look at z. I have a, all the same coefficients. I have a negative 4, 4, and a 4. So what am I going to do? I'm going to get rid of um, negative 4. I'm trying to... All of this stuff right here. I'm going to re get rid of z. That's my plan. Let's go ahead and number 1, 2, and 3. Okay. So I'm trying to... I'm trying to put something down. And so <clears throat> I can rest my hand down, but... It's not working. Okay, so let's go ahead and pair up 1 and 2. So I have negative x plus 3y minus 4z equals negative 3. And x minus 2y plus 4z equals 5. Make sure that I wrote both of the problems outright. Okay, now let's go ahead and add. So we have a negative x and a positive x. That's going to be 0. And then I have a y. Uh, that's also going to get rid of the z's. And y equals 2. So for the fourth equation, I was able to um, get rid of two of the um, variables. Good. Now let's go ahead and find another pair. Mm, I can do two and three, but you can you see that there's a positive and a positive. Um, I don't want to multiply anything, so I'm going to do one and I'm going to do three, okay? Because I, there's a negative here, and if I use those two, then I have a negative four and a positive four. So let negative negative ha uh, negative x plus 3y minus 4z equals negative 3 and then 3x minus 3y plus 4z equals negative 3. I'm going to make sure that I wrote both of the problems down correctly before I start working on it which is something that you guys should start doing too because there have been mistakes. I've seen them. Okay, let's go ahead and add the two now. I have 2x. Um, look, it got rid of my y and it got rid of my z. So I have equals negative 6. Divide both sides by 2. So x equals negative 3. Okay, so now that I have my y and x, I'm going to go ahead and substitute it into, let's just say 1, negative x plus 3y minus 4z equals negative 3. Let's go ahead and substitute y equals 2 and x equals negative 3. Okay, so negative, I'm going to write it in 1. Okay, so I have um, negative, negative 3 plus 3 times 2 minus 4z equals negative 3. So I have 3 plus 6 minus 4z equals negative 3. So I have 9 minus 4z equals negative 3. Let's go ahead and subtract 9 from both sides. So I have negative 4z equals negative 12. Divide both sides by negative 4. So I have z equals 3. Okay? So z equals 3. And then I'm going to go ahead and write it in my ordered pair. So I have a negative 3, 2, and 3. And that is my final answer. Good job, guys. Good job. Yay.